Hey guys, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to take you on a trip with me and my wife to this amazing cabin uh, hidden in the woods of Broken Bow, Oklahoma. If you've been around my channel since forever ago, you may remember a friend of mine named Tim who took me to Oshkosh for the very first time in his RV-10. Turn left, westbound. Thank you very much. We're going to enter the hold here at Rush Lake. So, so Tim's a pilot. Uh, and he also builds these cabins and rents them out, and he invited us to stay in this one here, which is fantastic. Um, it's not too far from the airport, and he provides ground transportation, so we were able to fly out there. Um, the reason this is even a video is because of the comedy of errors it took for us to get from North Texas to Broken Bow. Um, it was pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, so uh, I want to share a little bit about our adventure at the cabin, but we, we got to start with, with how we got there, and uh, it's a little bit of a wild ride, so uh, buckle up. If you happen to live anywhere inside the red circled area here and you'd like to get off the grid, after this video, check the description for instructions on how to book this cabin. My wife Erin and I stayed out there last weekend and we'll definitely be going back. All right, is your door shut? Is your door locked? Is this your first time on an airplane? Got your wing. Are you sure it's shut well? Like it's not going to come open during flight because you've already done that video. <laughs> 50. 60. And your door came open. All right. Like, what did I see? I was... But the traffic makes simple because your papa is turning down run will be full stop on seven northwest. So as pilot in command, there are certainly things uh, about the flight that are my responsibility. Um, but there are also things that are responsibility of the WPIC, the wife of the pilot in command, or more importantly, the passenger closest to the door. Uh, if it were my door, uh, that might come open and, and, and fling me out onto the wing. Uh, I would feel it's my responsibility, uh, but it's not. So I'm gonna blame her on this one, but more importantly, look at this. The door is closed and latched. Look at that. And your door came open. All right. I'm no mechanic, but here's what I think happened. I think someone died in this plane once because the door flew open and they got sucked out and now their ghost is haunting the plane and he's trying to get more people to join him. That's what I think's happening. All right, let's do it again. Mixture is rich. Fuel pump is on. Flaps are set. Trim is set. This time we're going all the way to Oklahoma. Fifty, much better. Sixty. Seventy. All right, now let's go flying and let's bring our landing gear up. All right. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Don't go into that. Now we're going to do it about face. Aircraft traffic is 67, left face on one center. So once we got up and out, everything was perfect. The weather had cleared, everything was smooth. It was an absolutely perfect flight, uh, which means this is the uh, time when pilots make mistakes and you're about to see me make a pretty boneheaded mistake. I recently said in a video that I was gonna stop editing out mistakes I make. I've flown with enough pilots now that I've gone, oops, at one point or another to, to, to be aware that we all make mistakes from time to time and I'm, I've just chosen to quit quit hiding them through edits. So um, first off, the weather looks a little daunting. Uh, what happened was a bunch of storms had passed through and so some of these clouds and stuff you're seeing are actually the aftermath of a storm that had passed through. So we were, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 miles behind these storms, kind of kind of tracking behind them, the weather was great. Um, but uh, I did screw up and we'll, uh, we'll keep the weather in mind and then watch this and uh, I'll explain myself. And we're going to traffic command short final front way two, full stop, broke low. 
Oh man, this thing is flying like it's on rails. Gears down. Runner is made. Last notch of flaps. Why is the runway closed? Uh, what? Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Brian made a small mistake. Wrong airport. <laughs> Broken post that way. <laughs> I put in this airport because it has an instrument approach and I thought it was going to be raining. Damn it. That's embarrassing. Glad the cameras were running. Yeah. That was me. That was him. So I thought I was being super smart. I thought, well, it wasn't showing VFR where we were going to be arriving. And so I thought, well, you know what? I will go ahead and put the McCurtain County Airport in my GPS and I'll do an instrument approach to get down and then I can scud run the four or five miles, whatever it is, to Broken Bow. Fantastic idea. Um, however, when we got to where we were going, it was VFR and beautiful. Uh, so it was fantastic. The only thing is I didn't update my GPS, so I went into land at an airport which was closed. Uh, obviously, I was aware of it uh, once we got on final and we went around. Everything was fine um, other than a little bit of embarrassment. And of course, my wife giving me these looks, uh, which I, I fully deserve. So uh, anyway, uh, that was that was the adventure getting to the cabin. So, uh, you know, once once you get out there, you can land. Uh, Tim's got a hangar. You can put your plane in. So um, let's uh, let's let's get to the cabin. The cabin is situated in the hills of Broken Bow, Oklahoma. It features an awesome eastern facing balcony where we drank coffee and watched the sunrise. It's got an outdoor fireplace and a grill for all your cooking needs. We came here with my kids, my sister, and my nieces, and the kids took full advantage of a hot tub on the balcony. It's sort of hidden in the woods, and while there are some neighbors, none are so close that you're actually going to run into them. The balcony wraps 360 degrees around the entire cabin, which makes for some amazing views. A favorite of the kids, of course, was the fire pit where they roasted hot dogs and made s'mores. And what's interesting is when you leave the cabin out in the woods, there's a whole lot of hiking trails. For better or for worse, we're city folks, so we only made it a few miles before retreating back inside the cabin. See, the trick to hiking like this is you do what you want to do, and you carry the bug spray, and then they have no choice but to follow you. <laughs> Here they come. I just did my legs. I'm not finding the bugs to be biting. Can you catch? You can. What's funny is none of us know what poison ivy looks like, but if we get it, we still won't know. <laughs> so, so many different kinds of plants around our legs. What happened? I crushed against a plant. Are they stickers? Are they? Oh, they're so cool. Are they alive? Yeah. No. no, they're just seeds that stick to. Animals. So oh, we probably see animals and then it disperses. Oh, those are toxic. No, they're not. Yeah, the first symptom is you start that. picking I'll at take, your knees. I'll take, I'll take that one. <laughs> and you bend over and you can't stand up. Shoot, spray your shoes and too. Your fingers stick like you that. You got some on your shoes. <laughs> what are we supposed to be doing? Walking in a single file line. Oh, yes. Lift, lift, <laughs> lift, <laughs> right, lift. I don't know what I've been told. I don't, I don't know, know what I've, I've been told. told. I don't know the rest of the <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know the, the rest, rest of the song. <laughs> None of us went to the military or, or watched an entire military movie. <laughs> what if we meet another people single file on the other side and we have a full on, what's that? It's just, it's one of the like, yeah, end of a baseball game where everyone just has their hands. Good game, good game. Good game, good game. Good game. <laughs> we should just walk with our arms out like this in case another That's family so another family comes the other direction. <laughs> Dude, thank God. <laughs> That'd be, my arm is We just finished a soccer game. Yes, we just finished a soccer game. Good hike, good, 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 good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Needless to say, we had a great time. Um, if you're able uh, and you want to kind of get off the grid for a while, this is a, a great place to visit. Like I said, link is in the description. 
Um, the cabin's got two master bedrooms, so it'll accommodate two families. It's got a large living area and a kitchen with basically all the amenities for anything you want to do. Um, it's got TV, and the Wi-Fi was uh, fantastically strong. We didn't have any issues there. Upstairs, there's foosball, there's shuffleboard, there's bunk beds. Um, there's a closet full of puzzles and games. Outdoors, um, on one side of the balcony, they had ladder ball, cornhole. So basically, I don't know, this is a, a pretty good getaway for families with with kids of all ages or or just adults. Uh, it really can accommodate any, any sort of situation. So uh, that's kind of it for this video. We really enjoyed the cabin and we'll definitely be going back. Uh, we all decided we want to come back in the winter and see what this area looks like when it's covered in snow. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, what do we got here, deer? Look at that. We got some deers at coyotes. Coyotes don't like their tails. Dude, what is it? All? Is that miniature horses? It's deer. Okay. I don't know what it is. Why don't I get oh, look Deer at, make more sense. Look at all the deer on the runway. This one guy's like, I'm playing chicken, or I guess he's playing deer. Oh, oh, oh he jumped the fence. Where are they? Oh, look at him going over the fence. Woo! Woo! Woo. <laughs> come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> That's so cool. Nice.